This is In the Middle. This is A4's first In the Middle show for the year. I'm so excited. For the first segment of the show, let's go to On the Spot with Michael and David. Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to On the Spot. We have a new topic for this week. My name is David, and our topic is, who is your favorite football team? Philadelphia Eagles. Dallas Cowboys. The football team is the Razorbacks. The Hawks. Boise State. Razorbacks. Patriots. Arkansas Razorbacks. My favorite NFL team is the Saints. College team is Oklahoma State. Razorbacks. Texas Longhorn. Cowboys. Raisin Bears. Wow, those are a lot of good teams. I know, but my favorite is Seattle. My favorite is the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys are playing a lot better this year. Yeah, they are. I think they are because they have a new head coach and a new defensive coordinator. Well, I wish I could say the same about, the Se about Seattle. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Peace. Jay, what's your favorite football team? The Razorbacks. What's yours? Oh. Mine's LSU. Oh, this is awkward. Anyway, on to the next segment. Here's a special announcement about the upcoming event. Friday, November 11th, we will be having a Veterans Day assembly in the Connor Performing Arts Center. The guest speaker that will talk to us is Brian Miller. He was born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas and served on active duty in the United States Navy and Navy Reserve until 1992. We will be honoring all the veterans that have fought for our country. That's so cool. I'm so thankful we have people willing to fight for our freedom. Me too. Now, the drama department is, start is starting their first play for the 2011-2012 school year. Awesome. What's it about? I'm not sure. Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Solomon, and this is Sophie, and we're here to talk about the fall play. The fall play just ended, and it was a fantastic play about the great, 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 how many grandsons are there? I think only two. Never mind, the great, great, great grandson of the great Sherlock Holmes. So many people enjoyed it, including us. Yeah, the crew enjoyed it, too, and the crew was... Joel Irby as Sherwood Holmes, Liam Wilson as Dr. Watson, Kirkland Polk as Jason McTour, Tori Nicholas as Trixie Bender, Stephanie Jones as Laverne Lovejoy, Sarah Wood as Meg Baker, Melissa Fixell as Dina Cherry, Mallory McDonald as Amanda Weedler, Patrick Hughes as Harris Presley, Molly Warren as Helga, and Nick Abel as a radio announcer. Wow, that's a huge group. And they all did wonderful. Take a look. Ms. Baker, I'll take the case. Oh, thank you. About money. Watson will bill you later. We'll be in the match later today. Thank you, sir. Watson, lay out my hat and cape. The various schemes involving mayhem, murder, threats, or bad language must be thwarted. Come, Watson, a thwarting we will go. Yes, sir. <laughs> and with you, walk past the speedler so that you may check out your walk from a rear vantage point. She wants like a bad news third baseman. <laughs> <laughs> After that, you don't get those proteins. <laughs> Yes, sir, sports fans, let's get those hearts and lives coming in. Hey, hey, you can come back uh, next week for the uh, semifinals. GI won it for the 50th! Yes! <laughs> Until the time is right for your personal revenge, why not open up your heart and let this mad dog come in? You'll be all the richer for it. Thank you. And now a look on the fun side of things. Miss Shepard was the director and the producer of this play, and she's in her third year of teaching drama at PA. She was a big part of this production. Let's see what she has to say about her experience with the play of the great great grandson of the old Sherlock Holmes. Um, we were looking for something a little bit on the side of like um, Halloweenish, since it was the same week. So we were trying to do something a little creepy. So we picked the murder mystery aspect. 
Uh, my favorite character in the play is probably the killer because you just don't have a clue until the end really what's going on, so it's a lot of fun. Um, the killer is Meg, played by Sarah Wood, and uh, she's the one that actually brings the whole murder investigation to uh, Holmes and Watson's attention, so it's a lot of fun. Wow, she must be a great teacher. Yeah, that's all from us. Back to you, Jane Reagan. I really want to go watch that. What about you? Definitely. Jay, I was just wondering, what is daylight savings time? And I'm Connor. And we are going to be talking about daylight savings time. Typically, clocks are adjusted forward one hour and the start of spring adjusted one hour backwards in autumn. This means we get an extra hour of sleep on November the 6th. Daylight savings time was started by Jorn, George Vernon Hudson in 1895. But it wasn't until 1918 that people around the world started setting their clocks back. Almost the entire world uses daylight savings time today. It gives us more time to sleep and less time during the day. This is what happened to, to Corey, Connor, and I. Yeah. Wait, where is everyone? There's no one here. I mean, what the heck? I know. There's like... Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I don't want any ice cream. No. He's not under here. Ready? He's not under the books. That ain't a latte. There's no one here. I know. Wait, wait. Where's Connor? How does he not see that? I know. What is he doing? Stop. Put the orange juice. We've been looking all over here for I know. an hour. I'm sorry. I can't have my orange juice that no, I paid no for. Orange no, juice. but who cares about the orange juice? For real. Why are you here so late? Why is everybody not here? Well, uh... Maybe it's because of daylight savings time. Oh, that's right, daylight savings time. Yes. Yes. Wait, yes. yesterday. Hey, hold on. You guys are slow. Wait. I get here every morning this time. So daylight savings time is it clock goes forward or backwards? Backwards. 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 So that's it. So uh, no one else is here because they're still sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting an extra hour of sleep. Me too. Let's go to sports with Jackson, Clark, Zach, and Joseph. Hi, I'm Zach. Coach Kelly has led the Bruins to a 10-0 season with the Wildcats. They were led by quarterback Freddie Knight, and let's watch some highlights.
wow, they really dominated whoever was on the other side of the ball. The Bruins will play great in the playoffs. The first round of the state playoffs is this Friday, November 11th. The ultimate goal for the Bruins is the championship game in War Memorial. They have a great shot at being state champions yet again. Now to you, Jackson and Clark for basketball. Hi, I'm Clark, and this is Jackson. We are here to inform you all about basketball this year. How do you think the Bruins are going to do this year? I think they will do great. Let's ask the coaches. I think we're going to have a very good team this year. We've got a lot of guys coming back. Uh, we're excited. We'll open up December 15th with CIC, have CIC, have Malvern, a conference game the next night, and then we play Sylvan Hills on Saturday night at Little Rock Hall. And uh, that's going to be a good gauge for us. Sylvan Hills is probably going to be uh, at least in the top three, maybe the number one uh, pick team in the pre team in the preseason in Class 5A. So we're excited about it. We think we've got a chance to be really good this year. I'm very excited about the upcoming basketball season. We actually just had tryouts last week. Uh, we have 18 players on the team, and we've had we've only had one practice so far. But we have a you know a lot of kids that can play. And our first games are next week. We actually play Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so we'll, after that, we'll have a better idea uh, of how the team will be. But I have high expectations for them and look for a good season. I think uh, both of the teams, uh, boys and girls, I think they're going to do pretty well this year. Uh, we have uh, Hunter Henry returning at center and Dustin, uh, Dusty Hannes, who is going to Texas Tech. So I think uh, we'll do pretty well in basketball with the boys and the girls. Um, they have uh, Nucleus coming back, good starting five. So. I think we should go far in the playoffs and have a chance to win the state championship. So I think we'll do pretty good this year. Uh, last year's team, uh, which is basically what's still around, is 22 and 5. Uh, got all five starters back, and then we're going to add some new players. Uh, India Wilson's moved from California. Then we've got uh, several sophomores that are going to help us. Uh, should be a really good year. Uh, got kids that can score. Hopefully we'll improve defensively, uh, but uh, really looking forward to a good year. I really think we've got a chance to be one of the best teams in 4A. It looks like the Bruins are going to do fine this year. Yes, I would agree. Well, it looks like we're out of time for today. Back to you, Jane Reagan. Thanks, guys. Football's been good for the Bruins this year. I can't wait for basketball season to start. That's all for now. Thanks for watching In the Middle. Remember, you can always go to YouTube and watch our shows again. Just search Pulaski Academy in the middle or go to youtube.com slash Pulaski Academy. See ya.